so basically since this is my last week of overnight i'm going to vlog a tad bit i'm going in early tonight because my boss needed me to which i'm okay with because i like working six to two instead of my regular show this is terrible so i just can't i look a mess so my little business anyways but i'm at work i'm leaving at two tonight because of the fact my boss haven't coming early so you already know that it's hard to record at the front desk because we're not allowed to have the phone out. I'm in the closet. I'm setting up my bucket so I can clean the bathroom. So hopefully I can clean the bathroom and time lapse it or something or talk to y'all here and there. But sometimes I'll be in there, I'll just be wanting to get it done. So we are gonna see how I feel. Cause I think I'm going to skip the lockers for today on the simple fact that I don't got until 5 a.m. Cause this is around the time I usually start the bathroom anyway. And now the time I finish by two. And I'm trying to get home. So usually I don't mind staying over, but I already been here since six. And Well, I guess, I don't know. Some nights I just really don't care to stay over. Like, it's cool for the most part. If I was working my regular shift, I wouldn't mind staying over. -ish. I don't know what it is. Like, if I come in early, I ain't trying to be here no later. Like, if I'm coming in early, I'm leaving at the time for me to leave. Because that defeats the purpose of coming in early. In my opinion. Because I'm only leaving three hours before I got to leave anyway. So, like, saying the extra, extra, any type, it's just like, I might as well just work my regular shift. Even though I didn't ask to come in early, but still. I don't know, that's just my philosophy. Because my regular nights, I have more to do. Like, I already did most of the stuff I need to do. The bathroom's the last thing. Now, if I came in at nine, like usual, I would only did one or two things I needed to do and then waited to now do the bathroom and do everything else after. It's nothing else for me to do. Plus the two people who was here before me already did everything. So it'd be like a pointless three hours. Like why waste these people money for three hours? Like, like do y'all get what I'm saying? I think y'all get it. But, um, I guess I will show y'all what I do for the bathroom. So I will grab this bucket and then basically I should count how many towels I use, but I don't. I just go like, oh, this is for the toilet, this is for the counter. So toilet, both counters, benches. stalls is there anything else i think that's it and i always grab an extra one on the simple fact because something might happen where i decide i want to use another towel i use a different towel for everything i don't know if everybody else do that but i'm not touching the toilet in the stall no everyone gets their own fresh towel except for the counters because it's like a counter a counter Counter and sinks, I should say, because we got two counters. If you've never been to a Planet Fitness before, uh, then I look at my medium gloves. I at least I pre-put gloves together. So instead of putting them in there loosely, I just put them together like socks. And pretty much, I do at least four of these because when I go in there, I have a fresh pair on. So I have five all together at the end of the day. Sometimes I use all four, sometimes I don't. It depends on what happened because sometimes if I want to touch my face after cleaning the toilet, because I do stuff in a specific order. So it's like if toilet stuff all go together, sometimes I come out here and grab another pair just because the toilet brush is in here. 
and just in case I forget that I was just touching that nasty stuff, I ain't trying to have it at the end of the day. That's my TED Talk with that. I grabbed one of our long duster sticks, or whatever you want to call it, Swiffer duster sticks. We don't get the double-sided ones. The only time we do is if it's like they have to order another long duster stick. So this is what we usually use. And I usually grab, I never count these either. Sometimes I grab half the box. It just depends on how much is in the box. I should really count this stuff, but whatever I don't use, I just put it back. It's not like I'm wasting it. Because sometimes I need more than what I think I do. Because sometimes the bathroom be bad. Sometimes it don't be that bad. I deep clean it regardless. But sometimes it don't need everything. It's really hard to explain. But I I deep clean. I don't know about the middle. But I, the amount of compliments I got on how clean I have the locker room, the bathroom. That lets you know I'm doing something right. Next thing, scrubbing bubbles. This is for the showers. I usually use these for inside of the toilet too because bleach. This nozzle on this one is messed up, but it's the fuller one. So I'm trying to figure out. I'm going to just pour some of this inside the other bottle. Because I'm not messing with that. It's dribbling all over the place. It's supposed to spray, not drool. Put some of this in here. Obviously, no one else wants to use this either. Because usually both of these are pretty empty. That should be enough for the shower. So, yeah. Use scrubbing bubbles for the bottom of the shower. I personally use it for inside the toilet. Just because... Some people be blowing their toilet up. And I'm gonna put some bleach in there because no, they be killing me. I'll be masked up, goggles. We got goggles up here. Dang. I used all the goggles. Oh no, it's some right there. Dang. I'm too short to grab that. I have a pair at the house. I just forget to bring them sometimes. I was rushing out the house. Though. This is unsafe, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Got them. The goggles, I put those in there. I mainly only use the goggles and the mask if it is stuff in the toilet. Cause I don't wanna be cleaning that and it actually splashing. Ooh, no. Splash on me in the air, flush the toilet in the air. Oh, no. No, ma'am. I don't even like cleaning the bathroom. That's the gag about the whole thing. Like, I be deep cleaning that bathroom. Like, I like cleaning bathrooms for real. But if I'm going to clean the bathroom, I'm going to deep clean it. Because bathrooms are nasty. Especially when it's like 15 million people in the same bathroom. Mm -mm, not playing about it. I'm going to grab a bottle of alcohol. I'm actually about to go see if it's some more alcohol so I can fill this up. But a um, co-worker of mine was saying that the glass cleaner has a lot of streaks. So she started using alcohol and it be clear. So that's what I've been doing. Here's my HQ, HDQ. I always mess it up because I was about to say HQD cleaning this is just our regular cleaner this is also the cleaner that are at the sanitation stations my alarm for the laundry just went off so look for alcohol plus get the laundry i said alarms and i time slot everything i'm about to do because i don't know i like planning stuff i like having stuff laid out because if not it's just don't work for me. The other thing, this needs to be filled. We have two bottles of this. It's the disinfected acid bathroom cleaner. 
This is what we use for our showers. I'm gonna fill both of these up actually. So I'm gonna fill them up. Y'all can see. So basically, this is where we fill up the HDQ at. We just have a glass cleaner and water. I'm not sure what this is. I haven't used that. But this is for disinfectant. I like to let it run a little bit because I feel like it still has some of the other cleaner in the tube. But I love that with the water too. Like some of the cleaner will be in it when you spraying up the water. So just to make sure it's no like chemical mixtures or anything, I let it run a little bit for four. I go ahead and fill it up. The thing about this cleaner sometimes it be too foamy, so it don't even let you fill it up all the way without it acting like it's going overfill. That's the only thing about it. Like, it foamed up to here. If I would have kept going, it was spilled out. And I hate dealing with that. Like, I got gloves on and everything, but still. Even when it do spill out, it still don't even be filled all the way. But like, it defeats the purpose. See, look. Okay, that one. See, it overfilled, but it's not even filled to the top. I know what you're thinking. The tube in there. That don't mean nothing. That wasn't the best example. Because since this was already had a good amount in it, it didn't do it. And I wasn't trying to do that with the other one. So maybe I should let it happen without looking crazy. But I don't really care that much. Y'all can think I'm crazy. So, yeah, y'all can still see me. Usually I like to pop a squat and fold all the laundry. It's usually when I come in, I don't like this thing. It's a pretty decent amount of laundry. So it'd be... This be kind of full by the time I come in. As I was saying, it be kind of full. So, pop a squat, fold up all the towels. Um, we didn't have no alcohol. So, I guess they need to order some more. Sometimes, it's like we would have stuff, but then we would go without for like a week or two. And then we will have it again. It's like, it flip-flops. Because we can go without, like, trying to think what else we was out of for a fat minute. Right now, we're out of alcohol and magic erasers. But before, it was something else. I can't think of what it was that we was out of for a minute and... I had to do some type of alternative. Oh yeah, our mopping solution. We're out of it for a fat minute. And what I would do is like, just pour some scrubbing bubbles in there. I know we went without a vacuum for a minute cause people weren't putting the cord in the clip, which I'll explain that once I get in the bathroom because the first thing I do is vacuum. Have gloves on. It's the easiest way to get all of this off. Most people already know that, but just saying. Because sometimes I do come in here without gloves on, so I go like, dang, I wish I had my gloves on. No, it's clean for the most part. It's the best you don't get. So this is where the vacuum is. And this is it's on this side. I hate when these come off. It'd be irking my nerves. No, it's right here. This is the clip I'm talking about. So you like Squeeze the cord through to clip it down. It has a diagram right here. So this is what I'm talking about when I say the clip. Because if not, you will cause a shortage. And then you 
it will cause issues at work. So yeah, I'm about to go vacuum. Okay, so unravel this. None of our uniform ain't flattering nothing. I literally look like a damn Ghostbuster. Like, come on now. Like, anyways, I'm about to vacuum. Um, this is my little setup. I'm about to dust all the signage, the sinks, and the toilet. Then I'm gonna wipe the sinks clean the toilets i think i'm gonna start recording again once i do the showers i don't know it's kind of hard to record and clean the bathroom because sanitary reasons so i don't know we'll see hmm. okay so what i'm about to do is wipe the shower curtain and then i'm going to clean each shower then after that clean the mirrors and then wipe all the stalls and then I'll be done in here. Alright, so I'm going to show you how I at least do the white shower. Like the best, the best I did. So I did wipe the shower curtains. I usually wipe them all first and then I let them dry a bit so it's not like I don't know, you don't know the stuff dries when it's been folded up a little bit. But I usually like to go in with each. Usually like to go in. Okay. I usually like to go in with each with the acid bath room cleaner and let them all soak. So I can like bring get back up here and kind of wipe this one. So I'm going to do that real quick to keep up with what I usually do.
Schedule because people will actually be here. So, yeah. 